Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you exactly how to use the X Maker Joy to go from starting up with the printer to making your own creation. We're going to be showing you how to make this really cool pencil holder today, which is available on the X Maker app. And so I'll take you through exactly the steps that you need to get going with your printer. Um, if you haven't set up your printer yet, you should watch my other video, the review and setup. Um, but if you've already set up your printer, then this is a great video for getting started with your 3D printer. So first things we're going to do is we're going to put in some filament for our project. So I'm going to use this really cool kind of marble effect filament, um, it's Duramic 3D, it's PLA Plus. Um, so I think this is going to look really cool and I'll show you how to load the filament into the X maker. So I'll just turn it around here so you can see. I'm just taking the cover off here so you can see better the clip here, this button here. So we're going to put the spool on. And now I'm going to show you in the X maker app. So you're going to go to that X maker app. You're going to find your printer, my X maker joy. You can see there that there is the view of the printer. The printer even has a little camera with it. And what I'm going to do is go to the printer settings there and I'm going to click load. And that's going to start the process of uh, turning the nozzle temperature up and heating the nozzle and allowing me to uh, load in my filament. So I'll just make sure the filament is properly inserted there. So you see how it goes into that orange hole and I just tilt up the lever there to allow it to go all the way in and you'll see it go right up through into the filament holder there. Um, and so that's looking perfect and you can see on my app now that my nozzle temp is already up to 170 but it's going up to 200 degrees celsius for the load function. So obviously this takes a bit of time to get to the correct temperature. Uh, once it is at the correct temperature, then you will start to see the loading happen. So you can see here, if you watch closely, that there is going to be a little bit of a turn of the spool. Um, and that is where you're seeing the filament loading through. And from the other side, you can actually see the old filament. I had a yellow filament in before coming out, and now you can see my new filament coming through. And so that's what you want to do is you want to watch for the color change to make sure that it's been loaded correctly. And once the PLA has uh, cooled down, then you can actually pull that filament out and you can just take a look and see that you have the correct color there, like I'm doing here. So there I can see that my marble uh, PLA has started to come out, and so I know it's now loaded properly. So now we're ready. I'm going to pull up that X Maker app again, and now I'm on the home screen, and now it's showing me all kinds of different fun prints that I can choose from including this knitted pen holder, which is what we're going to make. So you can see here uh, some images of what it looks like. And then there's the big and the small size. I'm going with the big size. So I'm going to click print. What it's going to do is going to show me what the print would look like on the virtual X Maker Joy bed. And then in the settings, I'm going to click none for raft or bed adhesion. That's usually the only setting that I change. I just click print from here. I don't make any other changes. I just don't like using a raft. I find it's not necessary and it can sometimes interfere with peeling the print off. A raft is what you would use if you're having difficulties with bed adhesion, but that shouldn't be the case for something like this where there's a lot of surface on the bed plate already. So it's going to take a little bit to slice this 3D print. Slicing is figuring out the computer code to send to the 3D printer to tell the printer how to print it layer by layer. Um, and so because it's a pretty large print, it's going to take a little bit of time to slice it. But there we go. So there is the sliced print. And so again, I'll just click start. And that is going to upload that 3D print to the X Maker Joy. And again, that's going to take a bit of time when you have a large print. So here's how it looks uh, partway through the print. The printer is um, printing layer by layer to create that knitted vase look. 
And again, this print is taking a long time. This is actually gonna take 18 hours to print, um, but it's gonna be well worth it. Okay, so this took about 18 hours to print, which is the longest print I've actually ever done on the X Maker Joy, but look how fantastic it turned out. And I really love this marble PLA. It really gives this marble effect. So then what you're gonna do, you're gonna use the flexible board to peel it right off the bottom of the print. You can see nothing is left over there. And here's how it looks. Um, I think it turned out absolutely amazing. This is something you literally could buy and it's perfect for holding my pens and pencils on my desk. Um, just in terms of how much filament it used, you can see I still have a ton of filament left on my spool there. So this probably cost about two or three dollars worth of filament to make. Uh, I am obsessed. So I hope this tutorial was helpful for you to see how to use your X Maker Joy. Please drop any questions in the comments for me.